Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his son, only son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Today I would like to share with you God has got the giving DNA and for God so loved the world which means he give uh, his love he give his love and God gave uh, his one and only son or give us son Jesus you know he give and give and give he has got the giving DNA DNA is not possible to change he has got the giving DNA. He gave us uh, his son, Jesus Christ. And uh, he loves us. This is his character. He give and give and give. But for us, we want to take it, take it, take it. This is our own problem. But when you receive the power of the Holy Spirit, your life transform. You receive the heart of God to give and give and give. Look, for God so loved the world, He gave us the love. And He gave He gave us His Son, Jesus Christ. God has got the giving DNA. He willing to give. And if you look at the Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans 5, verse 8. God demonstrated His own love for us. Again, he gave us love. How he demonstrate? In this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You can see that. God gave us love and Jesus gave his life. Working together. God has got the giving DNA. DNA or the Jesus has got the giving DNA. He died. He gave his life for you and me. That is why uh, this is uh, the scripture for us. Let us have this wonderful giving DNA. If you look at the um, scripture, book of Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Mark chapter 10, verse 45 says, For even the Son of Man, did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. This is the word of Jesus. He himself speak like this. Son of man, Jesus did not come to be served. He come here to serve you and me, which means give. And he say to give his life. To give his life. Can you see that? God gave us his son Jesus and Jesus want to give his life for you and me. God gave us his love, demonstrate his love. While we are still sinners, Jesus died on the cross. Therefore, when you fill with the power of the Holy Spirit, look at Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It's a very famous scripture. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. You will be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and, and to the ends of the earth. When the Holy Spirit comes on you, what shall you do? The witness, the real meaning is to be a martyr. You give your life for Jesus. Die for Jesus. You see that? Work of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit working inside of you powerfully, you receive the power. What kind of power? Die for Jesus. Yeah. Stephen, he died for Jesus. Do you see that? This is the work of the Holy Spirit. This is the work of Jesus. This is the work of God. Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All three of them, they have the wonderful giving DNA. How many of you remember when the Holy Spirit filled you? 
you want to give love you want to give uh, something for others why should you give spiritually physically yeah even financially or materially you can give spiritually how can you give spiritually you can pray for somebody is giving interceding is giving do you know some people they sleep they don't know what they doing spiritually spiritually blind spiritually they are baby spiritually they never know who is Jesus Christ they are, they don't know what to do we need to give them by prayer give them by the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ do you know what Paul say i plant and apollos give the water but only god is able to grow to understand which me plant means paul is give the gospel give what do apollos do apollos also give the like bible study do you understand every body your job and my job to give spiritually do you know why we have to the morning service to go to the street and then to singing and give the leaflet so in the seed in this area so it is is giving yeah, spiritually by prayer by word of god by evangelism to give in this society i'm a missionary in united kingdom what i do i i'm i'm ready to die for jesus in united kingdom I I gave my life for revival in UK. Let God heal this nation. Let God bring the great awakening in the United Kingdom. This is uh, my prayer and this is my, my my life, my visions and my calling. How about you? Yeah. You have given DNA to something for the nation, for the family. for people giving dna we have and it got the father got the son and got the holy spirit we have spiritually we can help for the people in this world and then physically also we have a strand we can serve other for people physically yeah you can give your time on christmas uh, afternoon after the christmas service i went to saint george hospital i was pray for pastor tim and i was encouraging but he couldn't recognize me because of the the brain damage and he couldn't recognize me. but he still breathe but by life supporting machine i was pray for him spiritually give physically i went there my time my energy yeah. do you remember what jesus say look at the uh, uh, mark chapter 25 mark chapter 25 um, this is a uh, uh, word of jesus do you know what jesus say verse 20 chapter 25 verse 21 his master replied well done good and faithful servant You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. What does it mean? You did very well, very faithfully. Especially you gave the, the giving the end away. And then, <clears throat> do you know what he said? Verse 25. sorry not the um he say where, where is he i was in hungry you feed me yeah yeah but 30 uh, 30 35 mark chapter 25 verse 35 for i was hungry and you gave me something to eat you gave me something to eat and i was thirsty and you gave me something to drink i was a stranger 
and you invited me in. I need a cloth, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, The Lord, when did we see you hungry, and feed you, and thirst, and give you something to drink? When did we see you, a stranger, invite you in? and or needy clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply. King is actually saying the word Jesus. King Jesus say, I'll tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. You see that? When I was hungry, you gave me some food. When I was thirsty, you gave me some water to drink. When I was naked, you gave me some cloth to clothe me. When I was sick, you looked after me. When I was in prison, you visited to me. You can see the prison ministry. You can see the hospital ministry. You can see the welfare ministry. Well, feeding. Yeah, you can see all these things, which we give. Do you understand? Give. Jesus said, well done. You did for me, not to for somebody. Actually, you gave something for somebody. Actually, you did to me. Do you understand? When Saul met Jesus in Damascus on the street, and do you know what Jesus said to Saul? Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Actually, Saul never persecuted the church. He just killed Stephen. He just persecuted the Christian. But Jesus said, you persecuted my people. You persecuted the church. You persecuted me. Mm -hmm. That is why what Jesus said. You persecuted me. Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He never persecuted Jesus directly. You see, if you feeding somebody, especially in Christ Jesus, you did it to Jesus. Finally, one more scripture you can see them. Acts chapter uh, twenty, Acts chapter twenty, verse thirty-four and thirty-five. You yourself know that this hand of mine have supplied my own need and need of my companion. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the word the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And who are more blessed? You are more blessed to give than to receive. When you receive, how do you feel? You feel good. You feel blessed. Yeah? But when you give, you are more blessed. This is the word of Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. I'm willing to give and give and give. By the grace of God, through our church, do you know how many 10 kilos of bag of rice we bought in last 26 years? Over 25 years, he blessed other churches, other Christians and missionaries and pastors. Over 5,000 bag of 10 kilos of rice. 5,000. Even today, I collected around 50 bags of rice. I don't telling you what I do, what we doing, or what I'm saying. What God has done for us. His giving DNA come upon us. We just do it. Just do it. Of course, we pay the price. Jesus came to this world to be not served, to serve you and me. What does it mean? If you if you hear yeah, to serve somebody, you are the one to pay the price. Tired, physically, yeah, emotionally, sometimes uncomfortable. Oh, you're willing to give. It's good news to give, good news to serve, 
good news to support it for somebody. How many understand what I'm talking about? This is not my word. This is the word of God. If you look at the, the Bible properly from book of Gen Genesis to book of Revelation, you can see the character of God. He give and give and give. You can see the heart of Jesus. He gave his life. He gave. But if you are a genuine, mature, born-again Christian, I'm here to serve you. You want to take it? Take it. Look at Abraham. He said to the, his uh, nephew, Lord, if you take it left, I will go to right. Take anything good. Do you understand? This is the heart of God. When Abraham blessed his uh, nephew, Lord, and God blessed this man, Abraham, directly. And still remember, um, many years ago, I brought the homeless to my house. I opened uh, my wardrobe. You know, this uh, English homeless, he want to get uh, my, my, my ch church. And I told him, you can choose whatever you like, you can take it. You know what he did? He checked it one by one. And do you know what was happening? When you check, when you're holding and you try to remove, automatically I hold his hand, not this one, you can choose another one. <laughs> In the beginning I told you, you can choose whatever you like. But automatically I hold it. Oh, Holy Spirit spoke to me. What is the love of Jesus? God spoke to me. What is the love of Jesus? And I asked him, within one second, what is the love of Jesus? I explained to him why I hold his hand automatically. That church, my favorite church, my best church, why? Because my father, when I was young, around 20, my father took me to the, the school shop and then that measuring and then he bought for my uh, suit and then church. The church made by silk, the uh, you know, purple color, it's a very nice one. Whenever I wear that shirt, or I pray for my family automatically. My father is in heaven now, he died around over 10 years ago. And he is the first time he bought that shirt and my suit for me. First and last time. So precious for me. So precious. I love it. Unfortunately, homeless holding that one. <laughs> that is why I automatically I hold this. Not this one. You can choose another one. But God spoke to me. What is the love of Jesus? And God explained to me within one second. I gave my son Jesus. That is love. I gave you my best of the best. My son Jesus. Oh, Jesus, he gave his life for me died on the cross for me. He gave me best. Can I ask something? When you give for somebody, you may give uh, maybe a second hand one. Maybe you don't using it. You don't need it. That is why you give this thing for somebody. But can you give second fusion gift, second fusion things for somebody? That is the love of Jesus. For me, I love that the church. But God spoke to me, you love it, but if you give that one, that is a true love of God. Even I love it, I like it. I, this, for me, it's a very precious thing for me. And I told him, I'm so sorry, <laughs> I, I hold your hand, but it's yours. And I explained to him, and my father fought for me many years ago, it's just like, like, like my prayer short. That is why I, I, I hold it for your hand. But you can take it. He said, thank you very much. He made it. <laughs> Who knows that? God knows my heart. I gave my best, my cloth at the time. If somebody gave me 100 church and 200 chick chain, I said, no, thank you. <laughs> that is my, I love it. Because I think about my father. I think about my family and pray for them. 
but they had always he took it and I said thank you thank you thanks to the God teach me I gave the best for him and I ne never forget when I serving Jesus sometime two time God gave God gave me burning desire to give the best for somebody I said yes I will pay and then after I bless him next day one Korean lady she's a deacon in the church she called me Pastor Paul do you need the shirt <laughs> she is the one to uh, import the shirt from South Korea and they sell it in, in London UK and she asked me because she knows that I have the homeless or the, um, some vulnerable people she says if you have uh, I can have she gave me brand new 20 20 shirts 20, 20 of them I never ever received the, the shirt 20 of them in the same time one time and God spoke to me you see <laughs> no nobody knows that I gave the, the, the shirt only God and him and myself did. but God encouraged me I love you you gave the best for that guy here you are this is my encouragement 20 can I encourage you? God has got the giving DNA. He gave His own and only Son, best of the best, Jesus. He gave His life for you and me. When the Holy Spirit working inside of you powerfully, you give best of best. In these days, you see, gas bill, electric bill is very expensive, over 3,000 pounds of the bill I saw that. And my brother, he gave me, here you are, 80 pounds. Here you are, 60 pounds. Somebody gave me 200 pounds. Here you are, you can use that money for the bills. I was so appreciate. They are giving, voluntarily, willingly, sacrificially. That's why Jesus said, look at the lady. Can you look at the Mark chapter 12? One more scripture and finish. Mark chapter 12, one lady I can explain, uh, introduce for you. Mark chapter 12, verse 41 to 44. The widow's offering. Mark chapter 12, verse 41 to 44. Jesus sat down, opposite the place where the offering were put, and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Jesus sat down purposely. <laughs> he, he knows what people are doing. Many rich people threw in large amount. But a, a poor widow came and put in two very small of our copper coins with only a, a fraction of a penny, which is around the two coins, is around the 20 pence. What shall you get? My 20 pence is nothing actually. But that woman, so 20 pence is like a one day she can survive it. Not eating well, no, just surviving. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, I tell you the truth. This poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. That's different. Everybody give out of their wealth. But this woman, she give out of her poverty. I meditated this scripture many, many years ago. Around five years ago, six years ago. And God spoke to me. And this woman, she gave everything. You know, on that day, she, she has got nothing, nothing, because she gave everything, and then she, she was uncomfortable. God spoke to me, how many times you are uncomfortable when you give everything to God? I counted maybe three and four times in my life. Around, I don't know, five, six years ago, I received a big amount of money from the insurance company. Because of 
you know, I had accident. The the other party they they had solicitor and then they pay me a big amount of money and I ready to buy the the new car at that time new car around two three years old car new car and then in I get all the the paper and then on Friday and next day which is Saturday I should suppose find a signature and then money transport to the car dealer shop I can collect the the car that is agreement that was on Friday afternoon it's done my wife so happy about that <laughs> and then and I was on the uh, I did that on fr uh, on Friday evening prayer meeting that's six seven years old I think I was pray all night when I was lip of my hand pray all night God spoke to me look at the mark chapter 12 verse 41 to 44 that we do instead of you buy the car can you give that offering to God. How about my car? I'm going to finally signature and collect the car next day, tomorrow. And God spoke to me. Can you give everything? And then can you experience uh, this uh, woman's uh, uh, uncomfortable life? And then I, li I listen what you say. I meditated how much I was uncomfortable when I give everything to God. And then I come back to home. I, I share with my wife. God spoke to me, don't buy the car. Give everything to Almighty God. And she agree. She happy about that. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we don't worry about all these material things. And we tear up the paper. And then I told them, sorry, I couldn't buy it. And then I gave everything. Not only I gave everything, anything in our bank, we draw all the money. At the time, two weeks before the Christmas, we gave everything to God. Do you know what happened? We didn't have enough money to buy the food on the Christmas day <laughs> because we gave everything. I and my wife would say to each other, now we are uncomfortable because we gave everything. Nobody knows. We are nothing. nothing. Do you know what happened during that Christmas time when our congregation gave me a Christmas card? Do you know what I saw? I saw the 70 pound inside. I saw the 100 pound. I saw the 150 pound. People, they gave me offering. Nobody knows. I was uncomfortable because I gave everything. Nothing. Zero account. And then I was so encouraged. And then God, God just, you see, you gave everything. That woman, she gave everything. But I believe that. You know, God looked after her. Same thing. God looked after me. Do you know, because of that big amount of offering to the law, we move into this building. Did you know that? <laughs> I said, so, so, we need a minimum of over 50,000 pounds to move in here. I didn't have money. But I gave all the offering. Our church didn't have money. Give over 50,000 offering and get the this place. Otherwise we never come here. Somebody give the sacri sacrifice offering. God looking for pastor first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I'm a true pastor, genuine minister in the church, I need to give the sacrifice first before I say to the little nana, I'll do first. And then move here. And uh, around the two months later, I received another letter from from uh, from insurance company. Do you know what they say? They made a mistake. They want to give him more money. <laughs> Do you know? They give a big amount of money. I, I bought a brand new car from factory. <laughs> Can you imagine? I thought two, three years old car, you know, but, but God saw my heart and they gave me a brand new car. I don't talk about the material things now. I talking about the giving DNA. Look at this old woman, widow, poor widow. She has got the giving DNA to give willingly, voluntarily, joyfully. How about you? I speak to myself. I gave my life. I'm willing. 
to die for Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. You have a giving DNA. Even your son Jesus also. Even Holy Spirit as you were. And we receive the Lord Jesus as our personal Savior. We have a giving DNA. We can give and give and give spiritually, physically, and financially, materially. You can give for your kingdom, for your glory, for the people in this world. Many people waiting for uh, love from us. We can serve in them. You can bless them. You can um, supporting for them. You can help in them by your grace and your mercy. Lord, we thank you. Give us more grace to bless others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Keep on praying. Praying for mission to Sweden on 8, sorry, 16 to 21st of January. And our Bible code is still to go there to preach the gospel for Swedish people. And um, yeah. 16 to 21st of January.